Hi guys, Todd here. Right, what have we got today? Uh, excuse me, we'll just get ready. I should have got ready before I started. Um, what we have today came in this little box here and looks awfully like this. This is the EA Mod by Electric Angel and uh, I'm kind of late to the game on this one um, but the guys got in touch and said how'd you fancy having a look at uh, the Electric Angel, uh, the EA Mod plus they also sent on the Nebula which is their new atomizer as well uh, I'll review that at a later date, this is just going to be about the mod itself now, what can we tell you? All stainless steel and brass and unless I'm mistaken, which I usually am, this will be 23 millimeters in diameter 24 millimeters in diameter um, now, this can run from 18350 straight through to 18650 all with a kick. You can kick it the whole way through. They also include the standard tube that's in here just now will accommodate everything up to an 18650 or an 18500 with a kick. But in the box they do also include and I'll just try and get it out of the box this. This allows you to run it in 18650 mode with a kick as well, which is excellent because you know there's a lot of folk out there that like using the 18650s. Um, so what we'll do is what I should say is this right now, the model I have here just now is the EA mod AFC airflow control. If you however have an old uh, Electric Angel, you can buy the AFC top cap as an extra, I think it's about 48 euros, you can buy that separately but the model I have is the EA Mod AFC uh, as you can see it's a pinky or what's known as a pinky button and just have a quick vape I'm actually running a stainless steel rope in there but I've got uh, kind of like eco wool over the top of it to give me that silica type vape and it's performing really well. Now uh, I have measured this out and with a 1 ohm coil uh, on my basic uh, gear I was getting a 0.37 of a voltage drop on a 1 ohm coil so just make that clear from the start uh, so we'll go in for a close up look and show you what it's all about this is everything that came to me in the box and uh, this is the 18650 and kick extension tube but you only need that really if you are going to be running 18650 with a kick that's the only time you need it to be honest uh, so I'll take that out of the way just now what I will say is the threads and I mean this is made really well uh, but it's one of the first things that hits you when you open this box up um, the threading just everything about it just smacks of quality uh, so we have top cap and an extension tube the switch housing, the bottom of the switch and the top tube uh, but we'll take everything out of the way just now and we'll start off with the top cap now you see we've got a floating uh, pin here and I have to admit it's absolutely hoofing huge um, it, it's <laughs> I have to buy it when you push it in fully I mean you see how far it extends at the top I'm not sure why it has to be that long I mean I am going to you know I'm going to remove about three or four mil from this uh, which is easy enough to do I can just sand it down um, you know I, I just find that too long for me 
um, you know, but when you screw your ATI on, it will push that out. The main drawback is when you're in 18350 mode, uh, but I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you that. Uh, brass, and as you can see here, I mean the threads are just stunning. Uh, we have the airflow control here. I'll just spin this round and see if I can't find the, the air hole. There we go. So there we have an air hole here and an air hole here. So I can put like uh, my IATI on here and I'll get air fed in through these holes that goes into the chamber in here. So and you can close it off or open it up fully it's entirely up to you and I've got it closed off just now because I'm just using a Genesis so there we go, there's the top cap uh, we then screw on top section of the tube we'll then take uh, the little telescopic tube and screw that right in just now. And then we'll move down to the switch housing. And you can see here that it's the EA mod, and they've got their symbol there, and we have a serial number. And here you can see the switch. It's got a lock ring there on it as well. So you can lock that off. And you see in here that uh, you know if you push the switch down and it pushes the brass contact down. And that contact, the switch makes contact with this brass section here. And this is fully vented. So that just screws in there like so. And you can see down there that when I push the button, that's completing the circuit. Now, we will need an 18350 battery. We'll have an 18350 battery. I've just got an E-Fest line here. So, I'm going to pop that in there just now. And then, excuse me while I'm all fingers and thumbs. Screw this right down. Now you can see it closes off fully, but if you look in here, you can see that that pin is really high. So when I go to screw in my atty just now, it's not going to screw in. If I back this off a few turns, then go and screw this in. Tighten everything up. So that's it in 18.350 mode. You are going to have this gap in 18.350 mode. The only way you'll get round that, and this is personal choice, this is, you know, I'm not advising you to go and do it unless you know what you're doing. But I'm going to shave a little bit of, uh, I'll probably shave that much, the gap off that pin so that it's completely flush uh, when I close it. Um, that's that, to be perfectly honest, that's the only little niggle that I have with this whole device um, because it just works really well. If I take the top cap off, take my 18500 mode. It, I, I mean it's very GGTS, I mean there's there's no getting away from that, um, but that's been discussed at great length when the first mod first came out, uh, I'm not going to go over that. Uh, what I will say is that 
I really like this in that it's it's more the quality of the mod than anything else that I like about this. It, it's just really hefty and it's well made and it just screws together so well. Um, but that's everything up close. Uh, we'll go up top and finish this off. Here it is at the moment, this is at an 18500 mode and I have my IATI on it just now and we'll just sort this airflow out. What I would like to have seen is similar to the the, the Nemesis. Now the Nemesis does have a couple of little indentations on the, the top cap uh, so you know exactly where the air holes are. Uh, it would have been nice to see that on there as well. I would like to have seen that. But that's then fully open. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Um, Now, what we can do here, I'm just, I'm just going to sh put this down into 18350 mode. The top cap off. Battery out. It's always wise to put your ATI on first. Uh, I'll tell you what we will do. I'll put the... I'm going to put the scrape on it because the scrape's... I think it's 23 or 22.7 or something diameter uh, so it's going to look a bit more substantial on this if you like there it is with the scrape don't forget the scrape's a bit of a beast in itself um, height wise 75 millimeters in 18350 mode and I'll get that down by 3 or 4 mil. Uh, so there it is with the uh, Electric Angel Nebula, which is 22 mil. And this is 1 ohm. Mm. Yummy. Uh, I don't know if I've got anything else out here that I can put on to show you just now. Uh, what I will do is I'll try it with a kit. So here we are. This is a 18350 battery with a kick 2 module in there, and I've got a K-Fun uh, riding on the top. It's a K-Fun Light Plus. That's actually quite a nice looking combo. Um, mm, right. Well, as you'd expect. Uh, summing this up, I, I'm not really going to say anything that probably hasn't been said in all the other reviews. Um, this is it's a high quality mod. Uh, you can. Well, I'm not going to kick. When I used to review clones, I did review a, a clone of this. And I can tell you hand on heart now that there is a vast difference in the quality between this and the clone that I reviewed. Uh, this just feels so well put together. It really does. Uh, I'm kind of a bit disappointed that it's taken me this long to get round to reviewing one. Um, there is apparently going to be an updated bottom to this as well coming out in a few weeks time um, but well hopefully getting one of them sent on when I do I will do a little update video onto this very impressed very impressed uh, I think the, the only thing uh, really that I can negative 
the only negative to me is uh, the, the diameter, the 24mm diameter. I'm a bit of a fuss pot for uh, having you know everything the same diameter going straight down and okay this doesn't have, I mean the K1 okay, it's not the same diameter but do you know it looks bloody good on that it really does. Uh, I'm quite impressed. So I'm rambling, I'm off into ramble land. Uh, we'll stop there. I would just like to thank the guys at Electric Angel for sending this on. Now if you go along to the Electric Angel website, the link will be in the description and up in the corner. Uh, if you go to the resellers page, you'll find links to everybody around the globe that is actually selling these. Because uh, you can buy them in many different places. Uh, so rather than linking to one shop as such, uh, I'll link to the site and you can go and find the one closest to you. Nice. Guys, thank you for watching as always. Um, as I said, there's other reviews out there for this. Uh, I would suggest you go and watch those reviews as well. Uh, you know, never just go off my opinion alone. Watch as many reviews as you can. Uh, and that's it. We'll catch up with you soon. All the best now. Bye.